You know, it's a cliche, antique of the future. Everyone says this is an antique of the future. This is Expert Picks with Mark and Kelly, here to share some of our absolute favorite items that you can see at the Bath Decorative Antiques Fair starting March 9th through the 11th. I've been watching Bernard Rook's work in ceramic. He was very well known for making lamps and vases for many, many years. But it's with his lamps that he really scores a winner. And I think he sums up the entire design aesthetic of an era, that sort of 1960s, 1970s craft look. What do you think? This is just so grand. I mean, it's what, almost three feet tall, maybe taller? And it's incredible, the statement, the size, the colors. Like you said, it's got that crafty feeling. I can see it in any setting. There's there's no way you can't make it blend. Yeah. And it's a statement. That is what you're looking for when you want something that size. So Bernard Rook's an interesting character. He studied art at the Ipswich School of Art. And then he went on to study at the prestigious Goldsmiths College in London. It was there that he first encountered pottery and clay. And he was absolutely smitten with it. And he started to work with clay and actually in 1960 ended up founding his first studio in London. Later, he moved out to a bigger studio in Suffolk. And in 1962, he started producing lamps. And the reason for this was the fact that he found that people would be happy to buy an art object if it was all functional. So he combined sculpture with function. So vases, but particularly lamp bases. It's a statement piece, it's definitely an art piece, but it has the function, it's light. And of course, that is, it's just a win-win for most people. And, and you want one of these, like this is not something you have matching set up. Like, I, you know, maybe the room's gotta be really, really big, but it's just such an incredible piece with such a focal point. The form and function is really what gets me every single time. Well, they're often known as totem lamps and you can kind of see why. They almost do look like totem poles. And some of the forms he created got incredibly complex and almost looked like bits of machinery as much as anything. I've been watching Rook's work for ages and I said at the start that this is an antique of the future and I really feel it is. His star really has risen over the past 15 years I've been watching him. This is a cracking piece. I've already got one in my living room, but you know what? There's always the other side of the room and that would look smashing against the one I've already got. See items just like this and more at the Bath Decorative Antiques Fair, March 9th through the 11th.